In this lecture, we will look at limits using a geometry or using a graph. In general, in this course, we look at limits in three ways. Visually, using a graph, that's the concept of this presentation. Uh, using a calculator via tables, plotting uh, outputs. Or algebraically, using algebraic manipulation and substitution. So let's look at the geometric understanding of limits. Um, here's a picture of a particular um, function. And if we look at the black dots, uh, we notice that um, if you, since there's a black dot at the coordinate 1, 3, this means that when you plug 1 into the function, you get out a 3. If you plug 2 into the function, you get out 1. That's the explanation of the black dot at the coordinate 2, 1. And if you plug in 3 into this function, over on the right side, you'll see that when x is 3, the y value is 2. That's the black dot at 3, 2. However, the limit of a function does not really concern about the particular input at a particular point, but nearby. If we want to know the limit as x approaches 1 from below, we imagine walking along the x-axis from the left, getting closer and closer to 1, and asking what are the y values. In this case, the limit as x approaches 1 from below of this function is 2. Because if we plug in values just below 1, like 0 0.9 or 0 0.99 and so on, the y values on the blue curve, the blue line, will be numbers like 1.9 or 1.999 and so on, approaching 2. So as x approaches 1 from below, y approaches 2. We'll be approaching the circle um, that is not filled in. In a similar way, as x approaches 1 from above, um, we will also get 2. As x approaches 1, um, we will have function values approaching 2, even though when we plug in 1, we get 3. So the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from either direction is 2. Let's move over and look at x values near 2. As x approaches 2 from below or from the left, as we walk along the x-axis from the left to 2 towards 2, then the y values are dropping down to 1. So the limit as x approaches 2 from the left from smaller x values is 1. If our x values approach 2 from larger values, then the y values curve up and approach 3. So if you have x values from the right of 2 and we walk toward 2, um, the y values on this curve will be rising up to 3. So the limit as x approaches 2 from larger values will be 3. Now the limit as x approaches 2 is undefined because we have a one-sided limit approaching 2 from below that gives us 1, and a limit as x approaches 2 from larger values giving 3. If we leave off the plus sign or the minus sign, we then allow ourselves to approach 2 from either direction. And a limit has to be unique. In this case, we're getting contradictory answers. So the two-sided limit the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x here is undefined. In the next presentation, we will explore limits using a calculator.